This is a case of supine PCNL done for an impacted upper uretric stone. Here we are showing certain difficulties faced with the management of this case. This is the impacted upper uretric stone of about 15 mm size. Ultrasound guided access was taken since contrast was not possible retrograde. Ultrasound also helped us to be confident that there was no intervening viscera or that is solid viscera or bowel between the kidney and the skin entry point. So the upper calyx was accessed, trajectory placed in the line with the upper calyx and the needle was passed into the system and a clear urine was draining through the needle. Contrast injected and showed that we were in the upper calyx. Guide wire was passed. Initially facial dilators were used up to 12 French and followed by alkene rod and a single step dilatation up to 16 French. This is the 16 French amplates in the system and the upper uretric stone could be reached with the anti-grade semi-rigid nephroscope. Lithotripsy was done, fragments were cleared. But then at the end of this procedure, the stent could not be passed beyond the S2 level from anti-grade as well as retrograde at the same level. Uretroscope could also not be negotiated beyond this point due to tight suspensory ligament. Therefore, anti-grade flexiscopy, flexible uretroscopy was done. A stone fragment was found in this point at this level S2 and lithotripsy was done. The stones were pushed into the bladder and finally entire tract was cleared and finally DJ stent and nephrostomy were placed. So because of pneumatic lithotripsy, the stone had retropulsed into the lower ureter which could not be seen initially with the semi-rigid nephroscope anti-grade or the semi-rigid uretroscope retrograde. Therefore, anti-grade flexible uretroscope helped us to clear the stones. Thank you.